What is up everybody, AND Coinbusher here back with a brand new High Limit Coinbusher video for you all today. And in today's video we're going to be doing a $10 million buy-in. And they gave us 500 quarters to get started today. A pretty expensive game, so wish me the best of luck. Hopefully we can walk out of here with millions upon millions of dollars in profit. Wow, they got this machine loaded up super, super good today. They got this great big old massive wall made out of $25,000 chips and gold bars. I'd say that's probably at least 10 or 15 or if not $20 million worth of $25,000 chips. That's definitely quite a bit of money there. So if we can win all that out of there, you talk about a huge payday, we're going to make a fortune. Alright, let's see. And the base of that big old wall is one ounce gold bars. Those are roughly... Uh, 2400 an ounce, I think. They might be a little bit over that now. Not really sure. But anyway, they also got two ginormous pyramids of $10,000 chips. Like right in front of this big old wall right here. And uh, they got two quarter pyramids on the left and the right side. That should boost our quarter count a bunch if we can get those to go. Oh yeah, them big old towers that was back there on the pressure, they done fell backwards. Oh nice, that wall it might go, the base of it's going. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? That wall is floating in midair. That wall is literally floating in midair, that is insane. Alright, let's get that loot chute cleared out real quick. Alright, there we go. Wow, we've won so many $10,000 chips. That is insane. I've never seen a wall do that before. Look at that. It is literally floating in midair. How is that even possible? Wow, that is defying gravity for sure. Yeah, I've never seen this happen, and I've seen like hundreds of these big old like poker chip walls or towers in there. I've never seen one like completely defy gravity like that. That is crazy. Well, the gold bars at the base of it must be pretty sturdy. I mean, it's really no different than building like a bridge or something like that. Because in real life, it's like pretty sturdy and then there's like a gap like that. You know what I'm trying to say. Oh, nice. There we go. We got that stack of $100 bills. There's 10000 bucks in each one of them. So, quite a bit of money there. The only problem with those, they get stuck in the loot shoes super easily it's kind of difficult to get them to go all right well anyhow that was the last of our quarters right there so anyway i'm going to get that loot shoot cleared out and we'll get right back to pushing all righty i am back so check this out we won one of those uh, dollar sign money mystery bags so let's go ahead and open it up and see if there's any nice and valuable prizes in there it feels like it's loaded up pretty good so let's see what we won Oh my goodness, nice, we got a green earbud, look at this. So we'll get to turn this in, and uh, they'll take all that stuff that is on the blue shelf, so they'll put it here into the play field. Yeah, we might have to turn that in here in just a minute. If they build all those big old towers behind this wall, whenever the towers fall down, it should completely demolish this wall right here. Hopefully that's the case anyway. And check this out, we got two of the $1 chips. So each one of these is 500 free quarters, so this is 1,000 quarters right here. That is incredible. So anyway, I'm still going to continue to push and try to get these $10,000 chips out of here. Yeah, let's go for one more round. Let's just try to get as many of these $10,000 chips out of here as we possibly can. And then I will turn in the $1 chip and the green earbud, or the two $1 chips and that green earbud. So uh, anyway, let me know how much money you think we're going to end up winning today from a $10 million buy-in. I know it's a pretty expensive game, but I do this for you all. I know you all enjoy the large buy-ins, so I try to do as many of these as I possibly can. They are very, very risky and expensive. I know that. But it's always worth it at the end of the day. Sometimes we'll walk out with uh, lots of profit, and other days we'll walk out with nothing. So let's hope today we can get a record win off of this game. I would hope we'd be able to do that anyway. Yeah, I still don't know how that wall was like hanging up there like that. Look at that. I thought for sure 
once the base of gold bars like slid out from underneath of that wall that whole entire thing would just like fall backwards or fall forward but I guess I was wrong I was super wrong about that well uh, basically what I was trying to say earlier say they put all those towers that are on the blue shelves into the play field say they put all of them on the pusher back there and then whenever that big old tower crashes down it's going to crash into this big old wall in turn that's going to get the big old wall to crash down so hopefully they can mine all the towers that is on the blue shelf into one humongous tower that would be the best case scenario that would be our best chance of knocking down this big old wall but I don't know if they're going to do that or not because they're going to try to make uh, this as difficult as possible because at the end of the day they're in it to make money they're not in it for me to make money Yeah, and they've been coming up with more like rules to make these games more and more difficult I think well believe it or not they actually had this big old meeting a couple weeks back or it might have been like roughly two weeks ago a week ago I don't know I can't really remember but anyway they uh, come up with some new rules to make the games more difficult and I'll explain what they did so pretty much they said we're going to put less $1 chips in there, less dice, less $25,000 chips, more expensive buy-ins, and more difficult towers. And I can definitely see the difficult towers. Because this big old wall in here, it's not even moving at all. It's being super stubborn. Oh yeah, well that last 30000 bucks, we're going to win it, I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, it's on the edge now, baby. Come on, big push. Nice, we got it. We got it all cleared out of there. That is awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and turn in that green earbud, the two $1 chips, and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, I am back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I turned in the two $1 chips. They gave me a thousand extra quarters. And you all are not going to believe this. I know you all can't see it too well, but they took all those towers a $5,000 chips that was on there. They combined them all into one ginormous tower back there on the pressure. So this is a dream come true right here. So I'm going to try to uh, knock down this big old tower. And it should knock down this big old wall once it gets ready to go. So I think we should load this thing up with quarters using the skill stop button. Oh my gosh, one of them mystery bags just fell. It got stuck on that stack of $100 bills, unfortunately. I mean, regardless, we're going to get all this stuff to go. It's only a matter of time. We definitely got tons of quarters now. Roughly 3.1 thousand of them. 3,100. So, yeah, we definitely have a bunch of quarters. Hopefully, they got some more $1 chips stashed in their mystery bags. We'll find out later on. But, uh, meantime, let's try to get this big old tower on the pusher back there. That is our main target at the moment. Once we get that thing to fall forward, this big old wall should completely collapse down, I would think. Oh my goodness, do you see it? The tower's already pushing that wall forward. Oh my goodness, this is intense right here, you all. Alright, I tell you what, I'm going to load this thing up with quarters again. So uh, leave your guesses in the comments. What do you think is going to happen after I put all these quarters in here? Are we going to win the wall? And the tower, or are we just going to win the tower? Is the wall going to continuously be stuck right there for the rest of this game? I have no idea. Just let me know what you all think down in the comments. And while I'm putting all these quarters in here, I would uh, take the time to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button if I were you. It's 100% free to do that. Um, hitting the like button, I would push this video out to a wider audience. And uh, I actually reward you all with much better videos the next day by hitting the like button. So if we can get to 10,000 likes on today's game, tomorrow we'll try a $100 million buy-in with a one-quarter challenge. And uh, let's see. Yeah, let's, let's try to get to 200,000 subscribers here soon. My goal is to get there by the end of this year, but I think we can get there way before then. I just need every single person that is watching this video to team up and hit that like button. 
So let's keep on stacking this thing up. I honestly think we're going to get a lot of money this push right here. We're going to get all these $25,000 chips. All right, so this is probably about 1,100 quarters at once. This is insane. I'm just going to keep on stacking it up as high as it will go. Y'all ready for this? I think this is a new record for the most amount of quarters ever put inside the high limit coin pressing machine at one time. So I'm going to release that skill stop in three, two, one. Y'all ready for this? It's going to be insane. Oh my goodness. Wow, that big old wall just fell down. It kind of like wadded up into a brand new tower or something. I've never seen that happen. Wow, this is absolutely insane. So we got the wall to fall down before we even got the tower on the pusher, surprisingly. Oh my goodness. Wow, this is super insane right here. I don't know what to say right now. I am blown away. Wow, this is crazy. Oh yeah, well that tower on the pusher, I think it's going to go next. I'm pretty sure of it anyway. Wow, there's a whole bunch of quarters stuck behind the glass back there. That could potentially break that uh, plexiglass back there. They wouldn't be happy with me if I did that. Oh yeah, well them $25,000 chips are starting to go now. We're getting some gold on the left and the right. It's doing fabulously well. Oh yeah, big push. There we go. Oh my goodness, wow. Look at that. That is absolutely insane right there. It's like a continuous waterfall of chips. Wow. Out of four years of playing these high limit coin pressure machines, I've never played a game like this, not even one time. This is just crazy. I've never had this many chips get stuck like that. Well, first of all, the wall was floating in midair. That's already something that's never happened. Then the tower on the pusher knocked over the wall before it even fell down, before the tower on the pusher even fell down. And then the wall just like built a brand new tower, like it wadded up into a brand new tower. So I don't know, there's a bunch of crazy stuff going on today. But yeah, I do a video like this every single day. I post videos seven days a week. So if you wanna uh, stay tuned for these videos every single day, be sure you subscribe to the channel. It would help out a lot. Get me to that 200,000 mark, we'll do a uh, $2 billion buy-in again. I did a $2 billion buy-in here a while back, and I told myself I was never going to do that ever again unless we got uh, 200,000 subscribers, so be sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And my goodness, there's so much money stuck on the edge right now. I'd say we are looking at about, you know, I don't know, potentially 15 or 20 million. All just like piled up on the edge right here. That's insane. Come on, nice push. Give me something. Well, I'm going to try to get that loot chute cleared out here in just a minute. And we'll see if that starts like getting it to break free or whatnot. Yeah, sorry I'm not really talking too much. I'm just like trying to focus on getting all these chips out of here. I'm still pretty shocked about all of this money right here. I can't get over it. It is so much money stuck on the edge. Well, that doesn't compare to that U.S. Capitol Tower. Now that one, my goodness, if you could remember here a couple weeks ago, that tower was stuck against the glass really, really bad. Well, that probably was the biggest... Uh, poker chip, uh, what do you call it, like jam I've ever seen in my life. They were all stuck against the glass for about an hour, hour and a half I guess, I'm not sure. So anyway, uh, that right there was technically the last of our quarters. We only have a couple left in the basket anyhow. So I tell you what, I'm going to try to get that loot chute cleared out and I'll see y'all when I get back.
Alrighty, I am back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I got that loose chute all cleared out. And it looks like that entire right side broke free. So now we just got to worry about the center and that left hand side. So I'm thinking we should like push on the right centerish area because like we need to try to win as many quarters back as possible because we're down to pretty much almost like an entire bowl of quarters in one basket. Beforehand we had like two or three baskets and a full bowl of quarters. So we lost probably at least 1,500 to 2,000 of our quarters that we had. So we really, really got to try to, you know, step up our game here and try to win all these quarters and chips out of here. We're going for a max jackpot win today. Yeah, we could really, really use an awesome win on this game today. Yeah, I think the only problem we're facing right now, the stack of cash that is underneath all these chips right here, it's blocking all the chips from falling down. That's what I'm noticing. Or I noticed it, like, earlier. I pointed it out, matter of fact. I told you all that that stack of cash was stuck in there. I think that, may, I think that might be hurting our chances of getting all these poker chips to fall down into the payout chute. Could be. Yeah, it's raining quarters over there on that right side, that's for sure. We really need that center to go. Come on, big money, give me something. Alright, so let's see. We're almost out of quarters that we had in the bowl, as you can see there, so we only got one more basket sitting on top of the machine here. I mean, I would call them back here to see if they could, like, rearrange some of this money that is stuck in there, but I'm worried if they open the glass, all this money is going to go down into the payout chute, and then you all wouldn't get to see it fall down, so... I'm going to keep on trying a couple more rounds to get it, I'm sure will eventually get it all to break free. I mean, even when we was battling that U.S. Capitol Tower, and all those chips were stuck, we eventually got it to break free. It's really only a matter of time, but it can be very time-consuming, though. Well, that was a nice push there, wasn't it? That was awesome. Awesome sauce. Now, look at how many quarters were... About to win over there on that right side. It is completely piled up. Wow, it's doing super well. Well, I'd say we're up to about two or three baskets of quarters now and a full bowl of quarters. That's my prediction. Don't know for sure, but it seems like it. All right, so that was the last of our quarters. Let's see if we can get some last minute magic. Oh yeah, all those quarters right there are about to go. We might get another push. Oh my goodness, that was phenomenal. All right, so let's get that loose shoot cleared out, round up the quarters again, and we'll continue pushing. Try to get all these chips out of here. Be right back. Oh yeah, there it goes, jackpot baby. That is the push we needed. That was fabulous right there. Heck yeah. Oh, nice. There we go. We got all that money that was stuck on the left side. Sweet. That is awesome. Alrighty, we are back. So before we get back to pushing, I'm going to go ahead and open up both of these ginormous dollar sign mystery bags. Let's go ahead and start with this one over here on the right side. Let's check it out, see if there's any good and valuable stuff in there. Oh my goodness. Wow, it was loaded up real good. We got the mystery money keychain. This could be worth a dollar all the way up to a billion dollars. And we got four of the white dice. Look at that. So those will multiply our winnings by whatever they land on. 
Yeah, I can already tell you we're going to make way over 10 million bucks today. That's guaranteed. And we got three of the Bitcoins, so that's three entries into the $300,000 buying giveaway. And we also got another $1 chip, so that's 500 more quarters. That is absolutely amazing. So now let's go ahead and move on to the second mystery bag right here. So hopefully this one is loaded up real good. Oh my goodness, wow, we scored big time on this one. We got the white earbud today. So this is a free tower or multiple free towers made out of $25,000 chips. Heck yeah, we're going to be rich today, that's for sure. And we got two more $1 chips, that's 1,500 more quarters. And we got two of the gold dice and one silver dice. So the gold dice multiply our gold, the silver dice multiplies our quarters. Wow, we did super, super good with that uh, two mystery bags right there. That is incredible. So I'm going to try a couple more quarters to try to win all these, like, I guess, excess quarters out of here. Because a lot of times whenever we turn in something like a special chip or one of the earbuds, they like to level out the play field and take all the quarters off of it and make it like one layer each. And uh, they don't give me the quarters that they take off of there. They end up um, putting the quarters into the loot box. I guess they just shove them down in them gutters right there. So basically we won't win them. Yeah, anything that goes down them side slots goes to the owner. I forgot to mention that. I am pretty much mention it in every single video, but I know there's a lot of people who haven't seen uh, coin pressure videos before. So I just try to keep everybody informed on what's going on. Like, see, we're about to lose that gold bar to the left gutter right there. You see it? We might be able to save it. I'm not sure. No, we lost it, unfortunately. But uh, sometimes they have a super special $50 chip, and if we win that $50 chip, we get to cash that in. They'll take everything that we lost to those side slots, and uh, they'll put it back into the play field for us to have another chance of winning it. But no sign of that $50 chip. If we was going to win that $50 chip, it would have been inside one of those mystery bags we had won today already. But I am excited about that free $25,000 chip tower. It's going to be awesome. I guarantee it. Hopefully they make it real nice and tall. Like a skyscraper tower. Alright, well that was pretty much the last of our quarters. I was only going to put a little bit in there to win those excess quarters back. So we done got the majority of them out of there. So I'm going to go ahead and turn in that white earbud and the three $1 chips. And we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, I am back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I turned in that white earbud and all three of them uh, $1 chips. They gave me 1,500 more quarters. And as you can see, they built this massive tower made out of $25,000 chips in there. I was hoping they'd build one that's like all the way up here, you know what I'm saying? Like to the very top of the machine where it skyscrapes the ceiling of the machine. But uh, this right here should give us at least a couple more million dollars, I think. And after all those white dice do their job, and they uh, multiply my winnings, this right here could potentially be like 50 million or more. Possibly. You never know. So uh, let's knock down this big old tower. Nice. There we go. That was absolutely perfect. Wow. That was a bunch of money there. So now it's just going to be a continuous waterfall with $25,000 chips from here on out. It's going to be pushing real good. Alright, let's get that loot chute cleared out. Alright, there we go. For the ones who don't know, there's actually a little opening space right up above the payout chute. And if it starts bowling over with chips or whatnot, uh, it has the potential to fall inside the machine and it would actually go to the owner. It would go to the same location as the side slots on the left and the right side. Oh my goodness, we almost threw a $5,000 chip back in there. Alright, so we got like a couple more chips to win. Oh my goodness, they're on the edge. We're going to win them. Look at that. Come on, big push. Nice. There we go. We got the whole machine cleared out. That is absolutely phenomenal. Wow, this has been an exceptional game today. Absolutely exceptional. 
So now I'm going to go ahead and call the staff back here, have them put all the dice that we want on the pusher back there, and we got to roll them on down to this lower shelf here. And whatever numbers they're facing upwards, that's what we're going to get to multiply our winnings and their gold and their quarters by those amounts. So anyway, let me count up how many dice we've won real quick. All right, so we got seven dice in total. We got uh, four of the white dice, uh, two gold dice, and one silver dice. So let me call them back here, and we'll be right back. All righty, I am back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I called the staff back here. They put all seven of them dice on the pusher. So let's get them on down to that lower shelf. Hopefully they land on some outstanding numbers today. Oh my gosh, they did absolutely amazing. Well, we got several of the twos, but that's okay though. Uh, two or better is what we really need, but we got a six, a three, another three, and another three, and three twos. So that ain't too bad, not bad, not bad at all. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and count everything up, uh, multiply our winnings and our gold and our quarters by all that right there. And I'll let y'all know how much money we ended up winning today from a $10 million buy-in. We'll be right back. Alrighty, I am back. So in total, I ended up winning $19,625,000. That is the chips and the cash and that mystery money keychain all put together. Oh my goodness, I completely forgot to tell y'all what that uh, mystery money keychain was worth. It ended up being worth hundred grand today, so that is exceptional right there. So anyway, the white dice totaled up to 13, so I'm going to get to multiply my winnings by 13. And in total, I ended up winning $255,125,000 from a $10 million buy-in. So that means we ended up profiting $245,125,000. That is incredible. Absolutely humongous, life-changing jackpot win today. Wow, I am shocked. I was really not expecting a win like that whatsoever. Holy moly, that's a massive win. And it doesn't even end there. On top of that, we won 111 ounces of gold. And the gold ice totaled up to five. So in total, I ended up winning 555 ounces of gold. The spot price of gold is like 2,400 an ounce. Means we got $1,332,000 in gold. That is a terrific win for the gold. And uh, we also won, I believe it was 2,419 quarters. And uh, the silver dice landed on a three. So in total, I ended up winning 7,257 quarters. Uh, let's go and divide that by four to get the dollar amount. That means we got $1,814.25 in quarters. I'll take it. And uh, let's see, we also won three of the Bitcoins. So that's three entries into the three hundred thousand dollar buying giveaway. So anyhow, that right there is not bad, not bad at all for a uh, $10 million buy-in. So if y'all enjoyed today's video, uh, be sure you leave a like on it and hit that subscribe button. Turn on the post bell notifications, that way you're notified for future videos. And if you want to check out a whole entire playlist of my videos, that will appear at the bottom right of the screen there. And if you want to check out yesterday's video, that will appear at the bottom left of the screen. And this right here is a good video as well, so you're welcome to check that one out. And lastly, if you want to subscribe to my channel, you can click that button at the top right of the screen. So with all that being said, I will see everybody on the next video. You all take care and have an awesome day.